Hey guys, um, we are going to work on lesson 1-7 today using patterns and structure to make connections. We're gonna skip this first page and just go ahead and skip to um, the back of that first page. So we're looking at page 32. If we look at this top part, it says, how can you structure to solve problems? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna analyze the chart. What do you notice that can help you complete the chart? So I want you to take a second, pause the video, and see what do you notice that's gonna help you complete this chart? Now, you're going to ask yourselves, what do I need to do to solve this problem? I can use the structure of the decimal place value system to complete this chart. So by looking at the different place values, we can fill in this chart. So it says you can find the missing numbers by working on one row or one column at a time. So we can either work by going row by row or column by column, and we'll see the pattern with each of those. So it says, how can I use the structure to solve this problem? I can decide which details to focus on, find and describe patterns, analyze patterns to see the structure in the chart, generalize from examples in the chart, or break the problem into smaller parts. So as you move down the columns, so if you're going down the columns like this, you're gonna see 100th, 11th, or so yeah, 100th, 1100th, 2100th, and 3100th. So going down again, 100th, 1100th, 2100th, and then we have 3100th. If you go down the, you'll see that, do y'all see that? Hopefully, yes, you do, okay. So now we're gonna move from left to right in the rows. Tenths stay the same except for the last number while the hundredths increase by one. So in this case, we see this is 100th, 200th, 300th, right here, 400th, then 500th, then 600th, then 700th, then 800th, then 900th, and then 1 10th, which would be the same as 10 hundredths. So if we put that zero right there, let me see if I can zoom it in just a little bit for you. You can, if you put your zero there, because remember, 1 10th is the same or equivalent to 10 hundredths. Y'all, yes, no, maybe. Okay, good. All right, so now, we're gonna finish filling in each of these by, um, and I think that's what they have going on down here. It's the same same problem, same thing, but we're just gonna go down the bottom. All right, so we have all of these filled in just like they did up here. So now what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and fill in each of the missing numbers. So go ahead and pause the video and then fill in each of the missing numbers. So hopefully yours looks similar to this, if not the same. The only thing that I could do to change this to make this different, which would still be the same, is adding our zero to the end of each of those tenths, which makes it 20 hundredths, 30 hundredths, and 40 hundredths. So if you got all that, you are doing fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next little section, this guided practice on the next page. So now we're looking at page 33. It says, describe the pattern from moving for moving from a pink square to a green square, then write the missing numbers. So if we're going from the pink square to, uh, where are we going? Sorry, from the pink square to a green square. So we see this right here, we're going 55 hundredths, 75 hundredths, and then 95 hundredths. So we're going up 20 hundredths each time. This is 32 hundredths, then 52 hundredths, and then 72 hundredths. So we also see right here we have 66 hundredths and then 86 hundredths. So what would go right here? Well, if we go from right here to here to here, we're going up 10 hundredths each time. So this is 32 hundredths. So what would go after 32 hundredths? Well, you would have 42 hundredths. Hopefully you're with me. If not, pause the video and rewatch that again. Okay, after 42 hundredths is 52 hundredths. And after 52 hundredths is 62 hundredths. Do you have 62 hundredths? You are doing, actually, no, we're not doing well. Sorry, I totally messed that up. 
rewind. Let's try this again. So this one is going from 55 to 66, 75 to 86, and then 95. Okay, this one we're going from 32, this would go to 43, sorry, I totally messed that one up, and then 52 to 63. Sorry, we are going up nine each, the tenths is going to increase by one, and then your hundredths would then increase by one. All right, so it says, how can you use patterns to find the number that would be in the box below 52 hundredths? Well, if the tenths is increasing by one and the hundredth stays the same, so the number would be 62 hundredths. So let's write that down. All right, I'm going to pause it and write it, and so I'm gonna get you to pause it and write it with me after I'm done. All right, and there you have that. You can go ahead, if you want to go ahead and pause the video and write that down. That way you are caught up. All right, now let's go down to this independent practice. It says that Mateo is hiking. When he returns to camp, he passes the mile markers shown. So these are those mile markers. If you've ever been on the highway, you've seen these mile markers on the side of the road. They kind of tell you um, where on that interstate that you are at. So it says explain how you could use structure to find the decimal numbers that would be shown for the next four mile markers. So if this pattern continued, what would be on those next four mile markers? And so a lot of times what I like to do is actually either draw a line or draw a quick little square that's going to show me my next four mile markers. So I'm going to draw four little squares that's going to show my next four mile markers. Okay, so now once I have that written down, I've got to look and see, well, is anything changing or what is changing? Because we know that something's changing. So if we look at our mile markers, we have two and seven tenths. Okay, so now we have two and seven tenths. It's going to go to two and six tenths. So as we're going through these, are our numbers getting smaller or bigger? Well, we notice that they are decreasing. So if you want to write decreasing right here on the side, we know that they are decreasing. They are getting smaller. You can write getting smaller if that makes you feel better. Getting smaller. All right, once you're decreasing, let's see what we're decreasing by because we know we're getting smaller each time because our tenths place is getting smaller each time. So we have two and seven tenths. Then we have two and six tenths. So we're decreasing by one tenth each time. Okay, so two and seven tenths, two and six tenths, two and five tenths, two and four tenths, two and three tenths. Now I would know that my whole number is gonna stay the same. It's not changing. The only thing that's changing right now is my tenths place. So that would be two and two tenths. And then it would be two and one tenth. And then my next one would be two and zero tenths, so that would be the whole number two. And then now, if we notice, what do we do once we get down to that zero? Well, we're gonna have a nine, and instead of a two, we're going down. So now we're gonna have one and nine tenths. Okay, so these should be our numbers that we're doing. We're decreasing by one tenth each time until we have our four numbers that we end up with. Now, when we look at the second question, it says Mateo stops at one and eight tenth mile marker. Where will he be if he walks one tenth of a mile towards the camp? So if you're going towards the camp, you're getting closer and closer. So are you increasing or decreasing? Well, this one, as you're getting closer and closer to the camp, we notice that our numbers are decreasing. So this is the same thing. As we're getting closer towards the camp, you're going towards the camp, you're decreasing your number. So right now he's starting at one and eight tenth mile marker. Where is he gonna be if he walks one tenth? So what is one tenth closer to camp? So if I have one and eight tenth, that's what we're starting at. One tenth closer would be one and seven tenths because you are one tenth of a mile closer. That's answering our first part. If he walks one tenth of a mile towards the camp. And then what about one mile towards the camp? If he walks one mile towards the camp and he's going from one and eight tenths, 
where would he be at now? Well, if we take one mile away from one and eight tenths miles, now we are eight tenths of a mile closer. So you would re decrease by one tenth if you're talking about this. Okay, if you're going from, if you're walking to camp and you walked one tenth of away towards the camp, or towards it, not away from it, sorry. And then if you're starting at one and eight tenths and you're walking a whole mile, you're only going to be eight tenths of a mile away from the camp at that point. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, rewatch that and maybe it'll make a little bit more sense rewatching it. All right, go, let's go ahead and flip to our last little page. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to do this thousandths chart. This is what I want you to do on your own. So circle the thousandths chart. And I want you to also do number nine at the bottom, okay? So you're doing this thousandths chart and you're doing the use patterns and structures at the bottom of page 34, okay? If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you're like, I really don't know, understand how to do this, watch back this, um, the video real quick and see if you understand it. If you still don't understand it, then ask those questions at the end, okay? All right, have fun. Good luck, guys.